As we dive into the Lightroom for Photographers class, I want to set the stage for the rest of our videos with this one, where I'll tell you about the difference of Lightroom and the non-destructive editing model that the catalog system of Lightroom offers. Now that really sounds like a mouthful, but just know that it's the most important feature, in my opinion, that Lightroom offers. Now, with traditional image editing, like in Photoshop or some other destructive editor, we open an image, and then we apply our edits, and then we save that image. Now, when we save that image, we've created probably a flat file that has all of the changes made to it, and we can't go back on those changes or uh, move in reverse through the history of our edits. It's a flattened file. Now, in contrast, the catalog system of Lightroom offers us a way to go back in time, um, undo any changes we make to our images, and ultimately it's that non-destructive editing model that makes Lightroom so different. Now the way that the catalog system works is that anything that we add to our images in Lightroom is stored in that catalog. Our original raw images stay untouched and that protects the original image and is what non-destructive editing is all about. Now you can see here at the top of my Lightroom window that I'm working in the file lightroom5catalog.lrcat. Now if you're in Lightroom at all, you're working in a catalog, exactly one catalog. Now on your computer you can create multiple catalogs, but anytime that you're in Lightroom you have one catalog open. And if you switch catalogs, Lightroom will close down and then reopen it. Now catalogs don't really contain images inside them. Instead, they're linked to images. We can import images into a catalog, but again, it leaves our original images untouched. So what's in a catalog is the information about our original photos as well as anything we add. Now, on a Mac, the place that our catalog is stored is in the users, uh, username, pictures, Lightroom folder. And you can see in here I've got a bunch of different Lightroom catalog files that I mostly use for uh, testing purposes but you can use one or many catalogs and that's really one big decision that photographers face. Now if you use one catalog you can store all your edit information and keywords and tags inside of it and really harness the power of Lightroom's catalog system because with that you have all your images in one place and can get to them really quickly and easily. Now some photographers prefer using several catalogs and that's certainly an option too. And what that offers us is the ability to separate our data and maybe keep a catalog for weddings we shoot, uh, portraits we shoot, or even by year or something like that. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I really want to show you the power of the one catalog system. Because with it, we're going to have the most power over our images and the most data to explore. Now another decision that you're going to face as you get started with Lightroom is how to store your images themselves. And this is kind of a tricky decision sometimes because it can be a real hassle to organize and uh, store lots of images. And I want to start off by saying that the ideal setup is one in which you can store your OS like Mac OS or Windows on one drive and your data on another drive and that includes stuff like uh, your images and your music and things like that but if you're using a laptop as many of us are these days it's not always plausible to have multiple drives in your computer so for the purpose of this tutorial I want to use a OneDrive approach but just know that if you're working on a desktop it is a great idea to have multiple drives with things stored across them and in either case it's essential to back up your data so that we don't lose the images that we treasure. Now another tricky part is thinking about how we organize our images on our hard drive and I have a feeling that a lot of users don't even know where their images are stored on their hard drive. So again, I want to use this video to kind of set the tone and talk about the best system for how to store your images. And I'm going to advocate a system organized by date. Now in the pictures folder, I recommend creating a folder for each of the years that your images are from. So for this, we're just going to have a 2013 folder. And then inside of that 2013 folder, I recommend setting up folders that are separated uh, by the month and then the date on which they're taken. Now you may be wondering at this point, you know, if you just throw all your images into uh, folders organized by date, you may not be able to find ones that you need because I know in the past I used to organize my images uh, in folders with the event name 
But a better system is to just throw all your images into Lightroom, add the data like uh, categories and tags of events in Lightroom itself, and then explore within the bounds of Lightroom. So I'm really going to encourage you to use this folder setup of the year and the day and then add the data we need to explore our images quickly and effectively in Lightroom itself. So since we'll be spending a lot of time in Lightroom, I think it's really great that we use this video to set the tone on how to use catalogs, where they're stored, and how to work with your images and organize them on your hard drive. Now in the next video, we'll talk about actually getting your images into Lightroom and all of the power and features that come into play with that.